Oh, nice. That's perfect. Off. Okay, so today I am going to get pizza and recording a new cover. So, I'm gonna do like a really stupid makeup tutorial, but it's gonna be like folly. I would say folly. I would never say that. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. I'm so excited because like fall is like just around the corner. It's like the 30th or the 31st of August. I don't even know what day it is right now. I have no idea, but I'm so excited for fall. Cannot come soon enough in my opinion. I hate winter, but god damn. I'm so excited for fall. I'm gonna get on with the tutorial and we're gonna do this and hopefully um, I don't have as much problems uploading this one as I did with the last one because I had so many problems with the last one that I almost cried. Let me get you guys zoomed in here. So my regular routine is this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I put that all over my eyelid and I just blend it out with a nice brush. Like that. Anyway, I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. I don't normally do it that way, but we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna be using All Makeup Geek Shadows. First color that I'm going to take is this one. It is called Vanilla Bean. So I'm just gonna take that all over the lid with just like a nice fluffy L brush that is upside down. <laughs> that is meant for the face, it's like the tapered blend brush, but it's like super huge and I just, it fits nicely on the pan, so I just put it on there and then put it all over my eye. Save time. The next shade that I'm gonna go in with is uh, Beaches and Cream. I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques uh, setting brush. I use face brushes on my eyes. It's not that my eyes are big, it's just that I'm lazy and I don't like to spend all that time blending, so. So yeah. does a nice like transition shade transition shade so like you can see that it's like very subtle but it's still there um the next shade that i'm going to go in with is let's just see here i'm sure that was really loud i don't know um so it's creme brulee just the slightest bit darker than the one that i just used so these are them in comparison it's not going to focus but yeah, it's darker. Y'all can tell. It's darker. You guys are smart. But so I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and just use this. Yeah, that was a really bad angle. So I'm really critical of myself today. Wow. shade that I'm going to go in with um, is going to be Frappe and so this is uh, Creme Brulee, the one that I just used and then this is Frappe so it's just a little bit darker again focus 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 I can't handle this <laughs> I'm still really trying to figure out how to like use my camera and stuff. So anyway, this is Frappe. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go in with my uh, Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease 
brush. I believe it's number 38. And it's gonna be a little bit more concentrated than the last color. And the next shade that I'm going to go in with is Country Girl. I've like had this planned out for like days. So Country Girl, I am going to go in with my MAC 217 that really needs to be cleaned. Nobody say anything about it. I'm in love with this. Like, I'm so happy right now. Next, I'm going to take the brush that came with the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette. So it's just like a nice, like, kind of, it's kind of like the 217, actually. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Creme Brulee, again, like that second transition shade that I took. And I'm gonna put that under the lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush and frappe. Damn, bro, this looks good. I just need to go in with my mercury in my brows. And then we're done. I still need to get my brows waxed really badly. Um, so the brows are a bit of a mess right now. But, aside from that, everything else is golden, so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to zoom y'all in. So I'm just going to set these with a little bit of, oh yeah, by the way. I did my brows using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I'm going to set it with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Like I always do. Can't really see it very well, but it's because it's here. Now, I can't decide if I want to do liner on my, uh, on my waterline or not. I think I'm just going to do it on my upper waterline. So I'm going to go grab that. I'll just do like a, a gray. Uh, Avon Cole Eyeliner in the shade Charcoal. It's really old. It's pretty. The problem with putting mascara on when you haven't applied liquid eyeliner so you're always worried they're going to get it on your lid. I always worry about that. I don't know what anybody else, but I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I just threw my hair up in like a, a bun type thing and 
Who's gonna put Lolita on? Well, I don't really think I'm feeling it, so I'm just gonna go with my Justin Marilyn um, lip stain. So it's got like on one end, it's like a gloss that I never use because I don't like it. Um, oh, so it's got that. And then on the other end, it's got like a felt tip, like staining pen, which is wicked. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna put that on. So that's the finished look. Um, I'm in love with the eyes, like a lot. And yeah, anyway, I hope you like this tutorial. Ow. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.